This is Dead Space, condensed. You play as Isaac Clark, an engineer who's on a mission to repair the USG Ishimura, a planetary mining ship. The game starts with you looking at a video of a girlfriend, Nicole. I just wish I could talk to someone. Your crew members are Kendra Daniels, the computer specialist, Zach Hammond, the chief security officer, Haley Johnston, and Aiden Chen, both security personnel. Something goes wrong with the gravity tethers, and the shuttle crash lands into the Ishimura. Drop the flash shield. Everyone bring it up. You and the crew head into the ship, but Johnston stays behind because of her broken ankle. Your crew tries to get in touch with the ship's security, but no one answers. Through a damage report, you discover that the Ishimura is in really bad shape. It's not just comms or the guidance system. Half the Ishimura is in the red. Engines, hull, the trams. Suddenly, the alarms go off and monsters, aka the Necromorphs, attack the crew. Chen gets killed, and Hammond and Daniels leave the area. You escape on your own and meet up with Hammond and Daniels by the tram. The three of you discuss a game plan on getting to the bridge. I can't lift the lock down or call the tram until we get a spare from the maintenance bay. As you traverse the ship, you come across more necromorphs, which were made from the corpses of the ship's crew members. The only way is hacking them apart. Those arms, their legs. Does that even kill them? Or do they just stop moving? After you get the tram back in order, Hammond tells you to go back to fix the shuttle with Johnston. At the shuttle, a necromorph shows up, and the shuttle blows up. You make it out, but Johnston is probably dead. You update Hammond and Daniels on the situation. Johnston's gone. Kelly and two. Daniels finds out that the captain is dead, so Hammond tells you to go to the medical center to find his body so he can get his codes. But the call is cut short due to a necromorph attack. On your way to medical, Hammond calls you, saying he's been split up with Daniels. He says the necromorph that attacked them earlier was Chen. I swear to god it was Chen. I saw him die. You find the captain's body, but a necromorph shows up and infects him, turning him into one of them. So you kill the captain and get his codes, transmitting them to Hammond. A flying one turned the captain's body into another one of those things. The same must have happened to Chen. Hammond finds out that the ship is being dragged down to Aegis 7, the planet below the Ishimura. So you need to restart the engines to pull the ship away. Later, having safely barricaded herself in a room, Daniels gives you and Hammond an update. I'll get myself admin privileges. Maybe I can help. She went through the system files and found out about the marker, an alien artifact that's been causing psychosis and mass suicides to everyone around. But for some reason, it was brought on board to the Ishimura anyway. Where's this marker now? In cargo. All packaged up for delivery. You manually restart the engines and deduce that they were intentionally sabotaged. Your next objective is to fix the ADS cannon so that they can fend off the asteroids that are damaging the ship. Daniels becomes suspicious of Hammond, claiming that he's after the marker. CEC knew all along about the marker, didn't they? Isn't that why you're really here? And how does losing my team fit into this theory? Hey, knock this shit off. We're into the debris field. We get the ADS back together or it's over. You meet up with Hammond, and you see that he's managed to trap Chen in an escape pod. I'm not seeing things, right? That's Chen. He cuts the escape pod loose, sending Chen off to space. He then shows you how the ADS cannons can be fixed. Headed towards the cannons, you find out what the marker looks like, resembling the symbol of Unitology. The Unitologists worship the marker, believing it to be a divine object that will unify humanity after death. You go out and calibrate the cannon's targeting systems by shooting the oncoming asteroids. On your way back, you receive a transmission from Nicole, who's been telling survivors to head to medical. All survivors, please join us. On your way to medical, a Unitologist doctor, Chalice Mercer, locks you out momentarily. When you get to the room that Nicole has been broadcasting from, you find out it was just a hologram. Dr. Mercer shows up and freezes you with stasis. While you're frozen, he mentions something called the Convergence, an event he's eagerly waiting for. Convergence is so close. Just as you unfreeze, Mercer's creation, a nearly indestructible necromorph called the Hunter, breaks out of his cell. You escape the Hunter and find a survivor. Save hydroponics! Before he dies, he says the air is getting poisoned and tells you to find liquid nitrogen for an enzyme. You get to the cryo lab for the liquid nitrogen and find Dr. Mercer there, waiting for you. He talks about the convergence event, planning to bring the necromorphs to Earth to merge humanity, so to speak. You take these things to Earth, it's all over! Only for the faithless. Humanity will be made whole, Mr. Clark. He unleashes the hunter on you, but you freeze it and put it in a cryo cell. You make the enzyme, and Elizabeth Cross, a horticulturalist, calls you. She tells you that the enzyme was created to kill a giant necromorph creature known as the Leviathan, which has been poisoning the air. We need to inject it into the Leviathan. Cross's team has been turned into necromorph freezers that breathe out toxins, so you need to inject them with the enzyme, which will carry into the Leviathan's heart. While you go through the ship to find the Weezers, you receive a distress call from Nicole. Help me. Daniels also calls you, and she starts to hallucinate her dead brother. It's him. Two doors behind you. 
After injecting all 8 Weezers, Cross says that the Leviathan is still coming in strong. Having no other options, you decide to cut it loose yourself. After dealing enough damage, the Leviathan breaks loose and is sucked off into space. Cross tells you about an SOS beacon over at the mining deck. She says that if you find her boyfriend Jacob, let him know that she's coming for him. You find a recording of Jacob, who was, uh oh, last seen looking for Dr. Mercer for help. And he sounds like he's worth the risk. He's a doctor. Uh, I'm a Mercer, I think. Through a video call, Hammond shows the unitologist bringing in the marker, which induces an intense disturbance to you and Daniels. While headed towards the mining deck, you finally come across Nicole in person. Oh my god, I can't believe you're here. I thought I'd never see you again. You'll put things back the way they were, and, and make, make us whole again. again. Promising to meet up later, you get to the launch tubes to send out the SOS beacon. But it turns out they're sabotaged too. So instead, you stick the beacon onto an asteroid and launch it out to space for a clean broadcast. A military ship named the USM Valor responds to the SOS. Once we fix the comms array, we can get all the answers we need. The commander of the Valor sent out a message saying that they've picked up one of Ishimura's escape pods. Unfortunately though, the escape pod was the one that Chen was in. No, 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 no. USM Valor, come in. Come in, Valor! Daniels can't warn the Valor, because the Leviathan somehow stuck around and is blocking the antenna signal. So you shoot it with the ship's cannons and it flies off, for good this time. Daniels tells the Valor not to open the escape pod, but it's too late, they're screwed already. You get inside the Valor and receive word that the ship has a nuke, so you need to eject it away from the Ishimura. On the way to the nuke, Dr. Kine, a unitologist that's studying the marker, calls you. Mr. Clark? Hello? I, I must speak with you. He says the marker needs to go back to Aegis 7, the planet it was from, but you refuse to cooperate. You eject the nuke, and Hammond tells you to go to the engine room to grab the singularity core. Hammond figures out that the nuke was meant for the Ishimura, suggesting that the ship was doomed from the start. You meet with Hammond at the engine room, and then Chen shows up. Help me get him to the Kelly. Shoot him. Shoot him. Shoot him. Hammond pushes Chen right into the singularity core, killing them both. The Valor is about to blow up, so you hightail it out of there, making it back to the Ishimura. Daniel says that a bunch of unitologists have gathered at the crew deck, where the marker is at. You get to the crew deck and see Dr. Mercer and Jacob. You're not gonna hurt anyone else. Mercer puts Jacob in stasis, and you have a talk with Mercer. Don't you want to be reunited with the people you lost? Then why not help me? You refuse to comply with him, so he shoots Jacob and runs off. The marker starts to affect you, making you hallucinate and tear dead people. But you're on it right, Isaac. Everything's gonna be just like it was. You meet with Dr. Kine, and he shows you footage of the Necromorph Hive Mind. He says the marker has to return to Aegis 7 to put the Hive Mind back to sleep, so you agree to help. As you're transporting the marker to the shuttle, the Hunter pops in. You finish it off by test firing a nearby engine. Exiting through the door, a tentacle grabs you and you see Mercer. You bastard! Bring conversions! Make us fall! Another tentacle wraps around the marker and Mercer and carries the two away. Mercer most likely dies and you free yourself from the tentacle. With Daniels and Dr. Kine, you plan to retrieve the marker. I'm heading to cargo. You ping Nicole's rig and tell her where to go. You get to the shuttle bay and load the marker into the shuttle. Kine goes out to usher you in, but Daniels has other plans. Kendra, what are you doing? Daniels reveals that she was assigned to retrieve the marker. She explains that the marker is a man-made replica. The real original marker was discovered on Earth. The replica was sent to Aegis 7 for testing a few hundred years ago, and recently the miners dug it up. And so, to clean up this mess, Daniels was sent to contain the marker. You'll find another way off the Ishimura. You're one hell of an engineer. Your experiment's gonna kill us all! Daniels! While finding another way to escape, Nicole calls you and tells you to go to the flight control room. When you get there, she states her plan to recall the shuttle and bring the marker back to Aegis 7. You can recall the shuttle and remote pilot from here. Bring back the marker and we can return it to Aegis 7. You can make us whole again. So you get the shuttle back and fly on over to the planet with Nicole. Daniel said EarthGov built the marker. Some experiment they abandoned hundreds of years ago. We'll put things back the way they were. We will be whole again. 
On EJ7, with Nicole's guidance, you transport the marker back to its pedestal. The hive mind will obey. We'll be holding- When the marker returns to its pedestal, the gravity tethers go offline, meaning the planet's now vulnerable to meteors. You go to reroute the gravity tethers, and Daniel shows up, with Nicole at gunpoint. Daniel shows you Nicole's latest video recording, in which she kills herself with an ejection. I just wish I could talk to someone. Why can't I see you again, Isaac? So you've been hallucinating Elizabeth Cross as Nicole, and she has been hallucinating you as Jacob. Oh, and fun fact, the first letter of each chapter spells out Nicole is dead. How cool is that? Cross has nothing left to lose, so Daniels kills her. You run on over to the shuttle where Daniels is at. Daniels! In the final battle, you fight off the hive mind, popping its pimples. When that's done with, you go into the shuttle and fly off, and a giant meteor crashes into Aegis 7. In the shuttle, you hallucinate Nicole again, and she lunges at you. So that's the original ending. However, if you go on New Game Plus and find all 12 marker fragments, you can unlock a secret ending. You're in the shuttle, and there's marker symbols scribbled all over the interior. Are we going home, Isaac? Soon. I promise. Gotta build a little something first. You look pretty happy despite what happened, and you're still talking with Nicole, implying you're going cuckoo. So yeah, both of the endings are pretty bleak. That's it. That's Dead Space. Condensed. Thanks for watching, everyone. Make us whole. Make us whole again. Make us whole. You can make us whole again. We will be whole again. How about... No. We'll be whole again. Make us whole. You have to make us whole! We're whole again. We are whole.